Hey everybody, how we doing today? Um, hopefully you're doing doing all right. Um, get ready to go uh, check some traps here. Um, I uh, found out this morning that uh, my grandfather passed away. Um, so, um, I'm gonna also dedicate, like I said, uh, this season to Delbert, but also, excuse me. Also, my grandfather. So uh, he was a he was a good man, really good man. So uh, those of you who are uh, praying, people, if you pray for my family, I'd appreciate that. So uh, we're just gonna we're gonna pray here, and then we're gonna we're gonna get on down the line. So here we go. Dear Lord, thank you for your love and mercy to us every day. Your grace is so so good. I just pray you be with us and give us strength today. Be with those out there watching this. Um, encourage them and be with each one of them. Give them strength. I'm sure there's some out there going through the same thing. So just be with them and Love on them and just be for, be there for them. Um, thank you for the great grandfather I had. Just be with our family and just be with them and keep them. We thank you again for your many blessings. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. Well, I also have another special treat today, I guess. Um, young fella out here um, there's state ground and there's a couple <laughs> couple uh, camps set up out uh, out here that they're deer hunting and that and um, young fella um, said he wanted to uh, learn about trapping stupid raven it's after my deer um, pieces over there uh, so the young fella's gonna Toad along with us, and hopefully I can teach him something. So, well, guys, I guess uh, let's go get some traps checked, and Lord willing, we'll have a have a coyote or two. So, all right, guys, we'll see you later. Well, um, my trail's net set down here. Um, I had an elk set that off, so you can see his tracks in the in the frost. <laughs> and then he stepped right in my trap. So <laughs> and, uh, I haven't decided yet if I want to pull that one completely or if I want to remake it. I'm not sure yet. Well, I'll think about it. But uh, well. I guess let's go Onward. check some more traps. Trap is right, right here. That is where the trap bed is. Um, and you want to watch um, touching without touching stuff around there, without gloves, and that um, this coyotes will pick up on any scent. I mean, they pick up on a lot of scent. Um, so you got you got to get kind of like this little bit of a trail comes through right here for them so it 
you know they it's an easy in they're not they're not like crammed into a, a small spot not all coyotes are shy on that but some of them will will hold back and won't commit to it because they're concerned about too much constraint on them you know mm -hmm. um, so you just want that nice and easy and anytime you can find um, droppings from wherever you just take and put some of the, the droppings like this right here right next to your set and you can take a little uh, fox urine and put it on right here in the corner uh, coyotes love fox so they'll, they'll, they'll investigate that um, if you're using a, a urine post set you want to use uh, coyote urine if not you want to use uh, a lot of time not all the time but a lot of times you use fox urine on your like dirt holes and stuff like that that's just like a funnel like I said funnel. it looks kind of like something you know dug dug it out a lot of times one of the main things for um, dirt holes is they think another like with the droppings and that they think another coyote has come in buried something and that's his stash so the, the coyotes are like dogs you know you, you have dogs okay the one will bury something or hide something and the other one comes and gets it and steals it tries stealing it and stuff coyotes are the exact same way they'll do the same some uh, they'll think that a, you know, another coyote buried his stash in there and he's gonna come and try and take it away so that's a kind of a, a way to look at it I did have another coyote come in here oh it was probably I want to say like two days ago three days ago and my dirt hole for this set was directly back in there yeah. and uh, he had dug because I had kicked the grass over top of the hole and uh, he had dug it out and worked that set but he never came over here and worked this one I'm not sure why exactly but he just chose not to some of them it, it's it's crazy some of them are are weird like that some of them the certain lures you know um, certain coyotes will like and other coyotes won't like it it's like a treat for some dogs some dogs don't like certain treats and stuff it's it's weird but they they're the same you know the same way so when you're setting up your sets um, I think I told you this before, but um, if I had a set over here and a set here, uh, use different lures mm -hmm. in those different holes. Don't use the same lures. And um, take you a little notepad and a pen and write down what lures you had in which hole and keep track of how you're catching stuff because that can help you determine, okay, this is a good lure, this isn't a good lure. Um, now, it's crazy too, because from year to year, your lures might work better, you know, one lure might work better than another lure. So it's kind of, if you can kind of keep track of stuff, it, it helps out. And that way when you, too, when you start getting a bunch of sets out, you're not wondering, well, what did I put in this? That you're not putting all kinds of different lures down there. Because you re-lure, about every about week you, you put a little more lure back in that hole and that allows you to um, keep track of what you're putting in and like I have, I have just a, I have too much gold <laughs> <laughs> um, I just have a little notepad um, that I just write down you know what this is just a little trapping book that, that Idaho puts out but you just use a, a regular notepad or whatever or you can even use if you have a like one of those iPhone jiggers I don't have one um, if you have one of them you can just record it in in that you know and, and put it in there that way you come back every time you, you know exactly what you put in there you know what's what might be working good that year so maybe you could use that just a little more often at different sets and sort of thing so just a uh, uh, coyote trapping is kind of a you gotta you want to keep track of stuff and, and how you're even fox trapping um, you want to keep track of how 
what's working, what's not, and just try and constantly be making yourself better and get better and better and better at it. Um, you know, uh, coon trapping, you can just use your hands, you know, and, and set your sets and catch, catch coon. Um, coyote, now I do know some guys that do set with their gloves off, or no gloves, but in my opinion, that's kind of foolish because you're taking that extra chance that they might smell your scent on that on that um, trap. So I just use I use gloves, and I'll show you what what for gloves I use and stuff. So, but yeah, these these little and stuff like that, coyotes will hunt them. Coyotes will hunt them big time. So, well, it's uh. we got here is a dirt hole. <laughs> um, this is one of Tammy's uh, sets. She put kind of a step down set in. Good, really good set. Here's to you Brandon. Another one of your step downs. <laughs> um, so uh, hopefully this is good, a really good spot. Hopefully uh, she ties into one here. I put a set in over here earlier. Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll tie into one. Yes. We will sooner or later. Good spot here. They come through here quite quite a bit. They funnel down through. So. Yeah. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna call it quits for uh, this video and head out. We're gonna get some get some firewood and all that good stuff. So, I guess till next time. Take care. God bless, and we'll catch you on the next one later. Uh -huh. What we got here is <laughs> a standard. <dirt laughs>